And we're starting, we're starting gameplay. And, well, have we started already? Oh my goodness, we've started already and the mic is live. The puck has been dropped and the whistle has been blown already. One second has remained in the whole game. Wow, this is exciting already. All right, what kind of names do we have here? For the Sharks, we have number 11 is Kobe Dorfman. 88 is David Eigelman. Eigelman? Eigelman? We have to have a pr way to pronounce it, too. Joel Jessen. And they're starting the second second of gameplay. Number 93 races for it. Who's that? Who's that? Let me see. Michael... V oh, I can't pronounce that. Vodianoi. Oh, and he centers it. Centers it all the way to the backboards on the other side. You got to watch out for the windows. The windows can, might come into play as well. Number one is A.J. Warner. Playing for the... And for the Kings! And the Kings clear the puck. They're playing defense right now. They're on their defense. Number one. Oh, I just said who that was. That was A.J. Warner. I guess he's uh, defense. So is Martyr. I guess they're all defense because there's only three of them. <laughs> and it's out of bounds. And that's the whistle. And it's out. What are they? We're going to find out where they put the ball once it goes out of bounds. Is there a rush? Is there a puck drop? Who knows? We are going to find out as we continue. Joel's got the puck. He's got the whistle, and he's being very liberal with it. He's having a great time, and he likes to bounce it once in a while as well. Hey, man, a ref gets bored too. Number 66, Shy Cabessa. Let's see if he's shy with a puck. And yeah, he's not. He does win the faceoff, but it's immediately captured by David Eigelman. Eigelman tries to center it, and he doesn't get it past, but he's in front of the net. Is he open? Is that considered open? I don't know. If you have more than two centimeters in front of you, is that considered open? The, the rink is pretty small. And there's a shot. Oh, but who knows? Who knows what might happen here? The Kings have control. They still have the puck. Shruggy Rosenzweig throws it, and it hits the backboard. That's not considered out of bounds. So you can use that actually as one of the players. The actual, the walls can be a player. Do a little fancy footwork with it. You don't have to worry about it going out when you're on the Kings team. That might be to their advantage. The fact that the Kings can shoot it as high as they want and it can basically go anywhere except for the bench of the Sharks, that can be used to their advantage, possibly. We see a switch of shifts. The teams are changing. They're having time. And the time clock is still going down. I guess that doesn't stop the time clock. It doesn't matter that, they, that the ref shoots the whistle off. It doesn't matter that the call and the game is stopped. It just matters that we have times that is being elapsed. They have to take that into consideration. They can't think, the, the, the guys can't think that just because the whistle has been blown that they can relax because the time is still going and time is of the essence when you're playing. There's still no score. It's zero. The Sharks and the Marauders, I keep calling them that, the Sharks and the Kings. Oh, and there's a save by Jakubovic, and it almost goes, but it hits the post. No goal. Everyone's calling no goal, and everybody admits it, but maybe there is a goal. We see, we see, uh, we see high fives. The first goal is coming under review. Apparently, there's no goal, even though there was a little bit of a premature cheer there by the Sharks. They did not get the goal, but that has to be taking its toll on Jack Abovic, that's got to affect his nerves a little bit. The fact that he let the, the, ball, the ball or the puck or whatever you want to call it go near him, that's got to be scary. And the fact that it's the faceoff is going to take right on the right of him, that's got to be tough on him. But then the, go and the goalie of the Sharks as well also has to be thinking, well, I still don't have that one-point leeway to be thankful for, to rest up on, to at least gather my bearings that if I get one goal past me, I still won't have a problem. But now he still will have a problem. He'll be negative one goal. So who knows? Both teams are still trying to get that first goal, and Warner shoots it out again. But it's a quick pass, and it's at center ice towards the east side of myself. Warner is all over that thing. And it gets into Sharks territory. And I'm trying to find out who is who. We have two men down. There's a helmet off. And people want to know what's going on. Was that a goal? Was that on a goal? Was that an injury? Is that a penalty? It's nothing. The goalie is... <laughs> who? Kobe Dorfman's the goalie? It does, does that say... Oh, that's a GW? That's what... 
All right, he's the goalie. Kobe Dorfman is the goalie. I could see Jack Avi Jakubovic from the Jakubovic clan. I actually had two Jakubovics in my class, if you believe me, a year apart. Well, that's because I was a year behind for one class. So, oh, wow, all the way from his side, the defenseman takes a shot. That's how you know how small the, the rink is. It's still a rink if it's, a, if it's not on ice, right? We could still consider it a rink. Okay, we can call it a gym floor as well, but hey, let's get professional. Just because there's a three-point line in the middle of the rink doesn't mean that it's not a rink. The face-off is shot off once again, and five minutes is remaining to the first half, first period, first something. I'll find out eventually. Hey, it's the debut episode, and you're watching it live on KTV, the cool television network. There's a fight for the puck, and the Sharks are the ones that were able to clear it. But Rosenzweig, Shrike Rosenzweig, is the one able to clear it all the way down the ice, all the way down the rink for the Kings, but it's not to much avail. shrike has got to do the same thing again. He backhands it off, but he doesn't clear it, and there's a shot, but Jakubovic makes the save. I think the shot was taken by his own defenseman, but I'm not sure about that one. The Sharks do clear it. They manage to clear it, but none of them have run off. But they're changing teams on the shot. So, Sh so Shreggy Rosenzweig does take the shot while the teams are changing. Who knows why? No whistle went off. But you have to be able to, to, to communicate with one another to know, hey, don't change just now. The game is still in play. And in two seconds, that ball can reach across the at the court, the rink, it could reach across so fast, you never know what's going to happen. So two seconds of turning, two seconds of changing, the team changes, and that could be, a, that could be, that could spell a fatal blow to them. Oh, there's a, comes a shot! And it's saved by Kobe Dorfman. Teams are changing safely now. And the time has finally stopped. A little bit of a timeout here. The coaches are speaking to their team players discussing strategy if there could be one for the first five minutes of a game. Eight minutes, six minutes, how many game minutes is in each period? Ten minutes I would assume. Well, you know what happens when you assume. Gameplay resumes. Very quick timeouts. Looks like the Shrek has something with the puck. He passes to the goal and the goalie grabs it. Wasn't really much of a pass to the boards. But Abi Jakubovic was able to grab the ball. And the referee stops the play again. The Sharks and the Kings, both teams will, wanting, looking, f looking forward, hoping, desiring to get the first goal at least, or maybe the only goal, who knows, of this game. Silver with a nice shot to the goal, but it's stopped beautifully by Dorfman, and it's the first goal! Goal! By... You tell me! He's not on the team! But it's a good job. Everyone's high-fiving each other, so you don't know who scored it. You don't know what happened, but it was a first goal. And the Kings are up! The Kings are up! one nothing. Yasrol Klein gets the goal, and he's got to be pumped. He scored the first ever goal of the season, of the first game. The first goal of the season goes to number 11, Yisroel Klein of the Kings, and the Kings are up one to nothing. And that's got to play on the psychology of the minds of both teams right now. Who would have expected there would have actually been a goal? I guess it happens in the game of hockey, even in floor hockey, once in a while. Good job, Avi Klein. Let's see what happens to him in the remainder of the season. Maybe he's the guy to look out for. Maybe he's just a lucky guy. Maybe, who knows? But he did get the first ever goal, and we will be following his career as well as everybody's career as we continue. Jab Kabovic has that leeway. Dorfman is freaking out right now because it was eight minutes. It's the eight minutes, and we're already almost into halftime first period, whatever you want to call it. But wait a second. Oh, here's a shot by Abi Jakubovic with an easy save. And the referee puts the pause on the puck. The goal was scored. The goal was scored at the minute of 250. What 255? How did that happen? 255 remaining. How many? Which means how many minutes is in the? I'm being told that there's seven minutes per 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 ten minutes per period. I don't know. I don't know if it's a period. I don't know if they do they do it per uh, game. Who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen on Saturday Night Hockey on KTV. 
We're in Spring Farm, and there is one goal scored. Will that be the only goal? Will Klein be the man of the hour at literally the hour? Because each game is about an hour. Will he be the man they, they consider the trophy winner? Who's going to hold the Kiddush Cup? We will find out in 19 weeks. But in the meantime, the excitement builds as the Sharks want to stay on the map. They're still on the map. Anything can happen when it's one nothing, and anything is happening so far. Anything and everything, as except for the fact that the ref has still yet to put on a tutu. But who knows what could happen on Spring Farm Hockey on Saturday nights. Both teams expressing their aggression. They both want. They both want to be the first team to win a game. Kings were the first ones to score a game, but it might even mean nothing if points can be scored in the second period, or who knows what happens in period two and three. It's only the first period, and we have one point on the map. There's a race for the puck for the corner on the Sharks' bench. Nobody's been fighting yet. The, they've been pretty calm when they're standing by their bench. You don't see anything pushing or shoving as yet. It's only the first week, so you never know. And then finally a save, and the crowd gives them a, a mocking clap for saving that puck. Okay, that was me. I'm the only one in the crowd. I don't care what you need. Okay. And there's a race for the puck. Oh, there's a shot. It was a quick shot, too. You never know, these, these snapshots can happen, and he's looking for his next one. You can see on his eyes that Klein wants to shoot his second goal. A little bit greedy, but hey, greed is where it's at. The more points, the better. The more Abby Jakubovic can rest. There's 50 seconds left of the first period. A shot and a beautiful save by Kobe Dorfman. David Gordon is number 13. Of course, silver is the one that it says by number 13, so that doesn't really help me. Oh, there's Shmuel Weiss is also 13. A lot of guys like to be 13. Apparently, everybody's bar mitzvah this year. We have three number 13s, one for the Sharks. Shmuel Weiss is for the Sharks. And for the Kings, Menachem Silver and David Gordon, we have three number 13s. Everybody wants to get lucky when it comes to Saturday night. <laughs> And I never did. I mean, I never scored any goals. Hey, that's not what I meant. Where's Whittleman? Whittleman? Whittleman, Whittleman apparently it says. That's what I wrote. Avi David, Avi David Middleman. Still trying to remember. There's a loose puck around the net. Oh, almost another goal. Kobe Dorfman is freaking out. The goal is being moved back a little bit, played around by CEO, executive in charge of production, and owner, J.J. Cool. J.J. Cool eating a pasta salad made by his mommy. She wants to be credited as the... Oh, there's 10 seconds left to the first period, and it was almost another goal. It looked like it. It was a freaking around the puck, and who knows what's going to happen? 10 seconds left, and there's a scramble, and there's no goal, but it almost was, and that's the end of the first period. With one point on, we have the Sharks being trailed by the Kings one to nothing. 